The branded intro on your YouTube channel can be something that like totally causes analysis paralysis because you don't know how long it should be or you don't know how you should create it or you don't know what you should put on it. So today on this edition of Two Minute Tip Tuesday, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to make a better YouTube intro. Is it not kind of weird that I just talked about a YouTube intro and then I, you saw my YouTube intro? I think it probably is, but we're gonna go with it. So welcome back to another edition of Two Minute Tip Tuesday. I'm your tour guide, Jessica Stansberry, and I'm a video marketing strategist for online entrepreneurs and small business owners just like you who wanna be more visible and make more money. Cause hashtag, we like money. Every single Tuesday, I'm publishing a new two minute tip to help you make your YouTube channel better. So make sure you don't miss any of those and go ahead and hit the big red subscribe button somewhere on this page where you're viewing this video. All right. So let's put the timer up for two minutes and I'm going to teach you three ways you can get a better YouTube intro. Way number one to have a better YouTube intro is to keep it under five seconds long. You literally do not need it any longer than that. And intros longer than that tend to lose the attention span of the people watching the video. So keep it five seconds or less and you'll be golden. Tip number two is to try not to make it all about who you are and what you do. Just focus on it being a branded element that when people see it, they know it's yours. It doesn't have to say that you're a web designer and you sew things on the side and you're a mama of four kids and you're, you know, whatever. It doesn't have to tell who you are and what you do because you're gonna do that in your videos, but it does need to give a visual cue for your brand so that people know who it is. And then tip number three is to head over to a place called Video Hive. I'll link that in the description below and do a search for Adobe After Effects templates. Now, if you're kind of tech savvy and you already have the Adobe Creative Suite, you could totally customize one of these templates on your own. But if not, you can go to a service like Fiverr, again, I'll link that below, and hire someone to customize one of these templates to fit you and your brand. And you can even filter the templates on Video Hive by the length and what's included, maybe how colorful they are and all of that. So you can find your perfect YouTube intro that's already a template and have someone just kind of customize it to fit your needs. Now, bonus tip, really quick. Don't have your YouTube intro playing at the beginning of your video. Give a little snippet about what your video is about before you let it roll. That way, people aren't getting lost through watching the intro. They're actually already hooked. You play your intro so they see the branded piece and then you get into the rest of your video. So don't play it at first. Wait a couple seconds and play it after you hook the peoples. Okay, so that is it for today's Two Minute Tip Tuesday. All the links I talked about are in the description box below. And I'd love to hear where you struggle when it comes to creating a YouTube channel and maybe your intro or the music you use or whatever. Let me know where you're struggling so I can film more of these Two Minute Tip Tuesdays that really help you hone in and perfect your YouTube channel. So comment below hit subscribe and come back every single week for two minute tip Tuesday videos and the other videos I put out so that you can also be a video rock star in your business.